So, um, yep, I was in a coma for about two days. I was in a car crash as well. Fucking, I've got a mild form of epilepsy, I guess. Um, you know, first thing I put back on was this, so. I've got to take these and see them, read them, and then I've got to also take these for about six months. I still think that I'm in some sort of episode, like in, as if this isn't actually happening but it has um when i woke up from the doctors i know for i think maybe the first day when i was at the hospital in like the bed because i was in a coma basically what i remember was like a flash you know one of them saying oh we're gonna now inject you with some other crap. Um, what I also remember is uh, taking my other half to work and then pulling over to the side where the police were and talking to the police and then being taken to the hospital as well and apparently I had a seizure as well. So this is all new to me apparently I've inherited it from mum's side or dad's side either side so I have a lot of questions to ask them um yeah I still feel like as if I'm in some sort of phase that, that doesn't make sense I still feel like this hasn't happened, even though it has, and my cars are right off, basically, apparently. So, shit luck there. Um, my tastes have changed. Um, I've liked Fruit Loaf now, which is a bit weird, and tuna as well, because whilst I was at the hospital, they gave me, like, tuna sandwich and stuff like that and people who actually know me I hate fish you know I hate tuna I hate the taste of it it's just nasty um I've still got my sort of like jewelry in there in like the bag anyway as well I'm not really sure what to say from this experience to be honest like you know I'm glad I've came out of it, but I don't know if it actually has happened in some sense, even though I know it has, and it might be down to the amount of times that I've cracked my heads, cracked my head as well, so could be down to that. I did have a couple of doctors, um, neurologists, come and examine me and, you know, try to give me, like, a sort of thing of how I was, what happened, why it happened, um, and this is all in, like, the first month of living in the new house as well, Rose Hill, so, yeah. Not really sure what to make of it, to be honest. Like, I'm actually kind of lost at this point. Like, I don't think it's actually happened until I've seen it happen. Or I've seen, like, CCTV footage of it happening, you know. And if I'm going to be honest, I'm glad that I've come out of it. But at the same time... I'm like, what the fuck, 
you know, has actually happened. Um, sorry for the lighting for the video. It's just down to the fact that uh, epilepsy. I remember my mate's brother Connor. Yeah, Corey. My mate's uh, brother Connor. He had it, and it was down to like the lighting and stuff like that, and it causes a, a lot of st stress and everything as well. Might be down to the fact that I work with computers, so could be that. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of it, apart from the fact that you know it's a lot to take in. You know, I've been in a coma for about two days, and, you know, my other half, apparently, she came and saw me for a bit as well, but she was in the accident as well, so she sort of, you know, was a bit in and out of it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I fucking hate myself for what actually happened as well, um... You know, I can't believe it actually has happened. And all whilst I was driving, I should have actually probably said no, you know, walk to work, but I was trying to be nice, you know, be the nice boyfriend, the fiance, whatever you call engagement fiance, I think. Yeah. Um,. I'm actually, I've got a lot of questions for either my mum's side or my dad's side, you know, either one, because apparently it's inherited through, so one of them hasn't really been communicating with me well, which I gather is my mum, um, yeah, a strange thing as well, I've taken a taste to blackcurrant, so... Yeah, uh, never really been keen on blackcurrant. I'm always like a orange juice, apple juice person. So, and this has been like the first month of living in this house as well. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Um, apart from the fact, I can't believe it. My boss, apparently, she said, you know, I can come back in the next couple of days or whatever, um, what on the 18th now, anyway, whilst I'm recording this, so, uh, yeah, um, sorry for the lighting and everything, but down to what happened, I don't really trust myself around, like, bright lights at the moment, so yeah, um, apart from that, I'm gonna see what happens. Hopefully, I could probably do updates, you know, on how I am, but I still can't believe it. Like, um, you know, I don't know anyone in my family who has epilepsy, so, like, I actually really need to, <laughs> I don't really want to talk to my mum's side, but if I have to, I have to, you know. It's one of those things. It's just a note to self. I'm not going to profit from this video. I'm not going to profit from these videos anyway. But I want to just, you know, sort of do it as like a diary type of thing as well. But apart from that, it's your boy Kyle S. Signing off. And I'll see you guys, girls, later. And yeah, I still remember doing this. Peace.